What's going on everybody? Good afternoon. Today I've got a Freightliner DD13. Customer states he's getting low boost, intermittent problems. Sometimes the problem comes, sometimes it goes. Either way, but we've got no fault codes. I want to show you what we have here. No fault codes regarding turbo or turbo boost or anything like that. The only thing I see on here is going to be DPF hydrocarbon absorption warning. That usually just means you're idling a lot, so you got to do more regens and stuff like that. Not a big deal, pretty easy to do. Uh, next thing you wanna do is check your CAC, make sure you don't have any, any boost leaks. Uh, but the issue would not be intermittent, it would be more constant. So you would have more of an issue when you would have a power leak. The next thing you can do, obviously do a road test, look for any signs of exhaust leaks, boost leaks, anything like that. Everything looks legit, everything looks really good on this truck. I don't see any issues there. The next thing you can do is open up your software. This is your diagnostic link. This is why, this is why it's important to have this software, okay? You're gonna go to IO control, go all the way down to where it says turbo control. And I usually go here to about 90%, okay, 90%, 90%. Then the next thing I wanna do is I wanna click on, if you click on set, this is gonna be hard to record and go from there. But what you wanna do is you wanna look right in there. See, there's the, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Right between the panel this drain tube back there, there you go. See that little white dot? I tried to paint it as good I, as best I could. So, very hard to see, very hard to record. Let me set the camera up. What you wanna do is click on set, okay? So you're gonna basically do this. Look, you're gonna click on set. The little wastegate is gonna plunge forward, okay? It's gonna go forward, which is what it's supposed to do. Let's see here. There we go. So there's my wastegate up there. My little rod, see that little push rod? There you go. That white dot is the one that I drew on there. Now this is the fun part because I'm going to try to record it. And, I'm, and then what you want to do next, sorry guys, I'm all over the place, but I'm just trying to record it as best I can. Right now it's holding that position so you know the maximum travel of that push rod. The next thing you want to do is click on stop and then that little rod, okay, on the, um, right, there we go, sorry guys. Okay, so that little rod back there is actually gonna retract and go back towards this little thing down here, okay? Mira, hazme un favor. Sí, cool. Agarra eso. Sí. Nomás vas a hacer esto. Ahí cuando te pido, nomás hazle click, okay? Todavía no. All right guys, hold on. I'm getting some help here from my dad so he can do that while we do this. There you go, did you guys hear that and see that? So what happens is that that rod is supposed to smoothly travel back in and it seems like it's getting stuck, which might explain why we're having a boost situation where we might have some boost going one way and not retracting the boost there. A ver, ahí donde dice set, no, no, para abajo, a tu izquierda un poquito. No, no, aquí, pa. Oh, excuse me. Touch it. Okay, déjame grabar y cuando yo te pido, nomás tocas ahí donde dice stop. Okay, sure, okay. Yeah. All right, guys, so, all right, sorry, I'm, I'm getting, getting my dad, not, not yet, not yet. Okay, so, okay, dale. There you go. So if you guys see that, that means this thing is getting stuck. So more than likely, this turbo is bad. So if you're getting a symptom like that, you're going to need your software, your program, to go ahead and test it. Again, we don't have any codes, we just have symptoms. So just to give you a little confirmation there, guys, so... Hope this helps somebody out. Again, this is the DD13, and that's pretty much it, guys. If you like it and it helps you guys out, easy way to test it again. Check your CAC. If you don't have any problems there, go there, okay? Check it out. Your VPOD could also be a problem, but if I had a VPOD issue, you would be able to confirm it also by doing the test. That is your VPOD, by the way, your little, your little valve, okay? So when it actuates that, see that little blue hose? Follow that blue hose and it goes right back there. So again, hopefully this helps you guys out. If you like it, fantastic. Give it a thumbs up. 